Hello friends, this is Eve from The Empty Nester. Today I'm going to share some gar more garden tips on recycling, reusing, and repurposing. Um, I normally save soda bottles and um, cut the bottoms off. Maybe two, three inches enough to... You want to measure to make sure that you can hit this far up on a bottle. So that you can put some cotton batting and the bottom of it and it'll wick the moisture up into your plant with this plant um, this is just the top of uh, pineapple I bought a regular pineapple at the store twisted the top off and put it in a small amount of water for a couple of weeks adding a little soil to it and then I transferred it into this bottle I did this about um, May or June last year and there I've read that maybe 18 months and you'll start getting a new pineapple plant and we'll um, wait and see I'm not sure if I'm going to plant this in the ground or not and um, when we have really warm weather June you know end of May beginning of June but with the soda bottles too let me go over here I ordered these spikes and um, I put them on the bottoms of the soda bottles and this one's they last forever and just put it in the ground near the plant and then add water to it and it'll water the roots of the plant instead of um, drowning the plant itself I also use the tops let me to put over plants like this to create a miniature greenhouse to protect protect them from the frost. I'll be adding these tops to all my tomatoes since there's something um, eating them, and I should have done that the day that I planted them, but uh, the weather came in and. Um, started storming I couldn't get back out to them let me go put these on and I'll sh couldn't find any more um, soft drink containers so I found these um, instant coffee jar jugs I took a paddle bit and made I think about a quarter inch hole in three spots because it dips down and I figured more wa rain would go in like that and I'm taking off the label and this is not easy to do with one hand let me see if it works it just peels right around and off take off the lid and then go over top of my watermelon let me move the straw out of the way put it on bring some of the dirt up around it and the straw back do the same for this tomato cutting Here's another watermelon at this end. Twist around a little. a little dirt around it to hold it in place a little more straw it looks like a really nice 
terrarium. But that should work. I just need one more for that watermelon and one for that broken tomato. It's possible I can just take the broken part off and put it over here. Put it in the ground and hope it grows again. And we'll see if this one survives as a stuck and regrows. Bring some mulch around, or not mulch, straw around it. for the best on those guys and keep an eye on them. This weather in Missouri is crazy. <laughs> 